In the realm of hotel architecture, it is hard to imagine a more original design scenario than a hotel carved out of an iconic 19th century jail. But when the city is one as passionate about history as Boston, and the structure is none other than the storied Charles Street Jail, the vision of the Liberty Hotel comes sharply into focus. I think as you look around, the first thing that strikes you is the remarkable architecture. It's truly a unique building that has been transformed with a very special history and an interesting story into this remarkable hotel with a great personality. Built in 1851, the Charles Street Jail was a collaboration between architect Gridley James Fox Bryant and the Reverend Lewis Dwight, thought to be one of the best examples of the Boston granite style of the mid-19th century, the building resonated with the strength and dignity appropriate for the era and for Bostonian sensibilities. Once home to some of Boston's legendary inmates, now the Liberty Hotel is home to a more appreciative and enthusiastic audience. When you come into our hotel, the first thing is you're greeted with a, an offer of a glass of champagne or a glass of sparkling water. We want to create more of an, a personal arrival experience as opposed to a standard transaction across a desk. We're working now with a, our property management system to actually develop a wireless computer system so that we can just walk you directly to your room rather than having to stand in the lobby and wait at a desk. Renovated in 2007, the interior design of the Liberty Hotel reflects a passionate commitment to authenticity, while a more playful attitude defines its day-to-day -day style. Within the main building, there are 18 guest rooms, as well as meeting rooms, a grand ballroom, and a restaurant bar. We've got a wonderful entertainment and dining venue opportunities in, here in the hotel. Clink is our three meal restaurant and it's turned out to be one of the hottest night spots in town with phenomenal dining and a great scene for, for enjoying the evening, drinking and dining together, a real social experience. The jail cells present in the aptly named restaurant Clink are now cozy nooks for dining. So the Clink restaurant concept is um, it's very unusual, much like the hotel. It's, uh, it's a very casual restaurant. Um, we'd like to say that it's uh, urban social dining. You know, we try to focus on local seasonal ingredients. The menu itself is very edgy. It's, uh, there's, there's a lot of really sophisticated ingredients in there, like um, artisan cheeses, that are local from New England, and also um, some charcuterie that's, um, that's, that's actually all American now. So the restaurant is in the jail itself. Uh, there's the, that's the very interesting part. There's the bars are there, the concrete, that um, a square concrete that's on the floor right now, right, right that, that I'm on is a whole, a whole jail cell. The experience that I want all the guests to have here is I want them to be full and satiated. And I want them to actually learn something, like uh, just, just learn the history of the building and learn something about food. It's a good feeling to be able to introduce people to different um, food stuff, so. Well, we have 70 seats in, in Clink. It's a small restaurant, so the action really flows out into our lobby. And so this beautiful rotunda, rotunda becomes alive with people throughout the evening. A 16-story tower houses 280 guest rooms with expansive views of Boston. We've really tried to create a luxury hotel experience here. We have remarkable architecture. We have a great history and story to tell. But our guest room product is really top of the line, luxury, high count linens, um, the finest bathroom, molten brown bathroom amenities. It's floor to ceiling windows, wonderful views of the Boston skyline and the Charles River. And we've really tried to create the best hotel experience in Boston. Not just a themed experience, but a wonderful luxury experience. This National Historic Landmark building is one of the country's most stunning and inspired adaptive reuse developments. Emotionally, we want them to remember that they've been wowed, that they've, there's, they've seen some whimsy in the experience, they've seen wow, and they've, most importantly, they've had fun. And if we can create that experience for them, then we know they'll come back.